Hello everybody, so in this video I'll be doing my review for Monarch Legacy of Monsters Episode 6. And let me just say, this episode is definitely my favorite episode so far. We got to see so much of Godzilla in this episode, and not only that, we go back to the past to see the characters in the 50s doing their thing, and that's one of the things that I really love from the first few episodes. So before we start, I want to give a quick spoiler warning alert if you haven't seen the episode. If you're not able to watch the episode, this video probably won't explain every single thing that happened in this episode. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get straight into it. So first off, let's quickly talk about the human characters because there are some really cool things that I really liked about them and then some things that I kind of didn't. Basically, all of the stuff that happened in the past, I really enjoyed. We have a new character in this episode who reminds me a lot of OB from the Loki Season 2 series, and he's actually going out hunting titans with this device that he made that almost reminds me of the Orca from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Our main characters are setting up their monarch base, and they tag along with this guy to help search for some monsters. Also real quick, I do want to quickly mention that they reference Monster Island in this episode, which was so awesome. But after a couple minutes later, they end up finding Godzilla. They thought Godzilla was dead after they dropped the bomb on him, but they come to find that Godzilla is still alive. And I just love when they find out Godzilla's still alive, they're not like, Oh no, Godzilla's still alive, we didn't kill it! They're like, <laughs> yeah! But they still are absolutely terrified that this bomb didn't kill Godzilla, and they don't want to tell the military about it because if they do, they're going to drop another bomb on them. And if that doesn't work, an even bigger bomb. And if that doesn't work, more bigger bombs on Godzilla. But it's already too late. The military took over their monarch base and wants them to tell them all about the little trip that they went on. In terms of the present day stuff, the main characters finally end up finding their dad, but not in the way that they wanted to. They started waving to their dad, so excited to see them, and their dad waves back, but not in the same way. They're actually waving them off and telling them to leave. We find out that he has this same device that was used back in the 50s that ended up attracting Godzilla. So he gets in his truck and drives off, and now we know that Godzilla is soon to come. And let me just say, I love this scene where Godzilla rises out the ground just like Mothra vs. Godzilla. The way how he stares at Kate and then he slowly rises up and just from him rising out the ground causes so much damage and almost kills the main characters. I also do want to point out that it is so awesome to see the Godzilla King of the Monsters Godzilla design in bright sunlight. Because in Godzilla King of the Monsters, normally he's fighting Ghidorah, and whenever he's fighting Ghidorah, he's in this giant storm and everything's really dark. And we don't actually really get to see him in the daylight until the very end of the movie. So it's very awesome to see him in this desert, warm-like area. And then he just gets up and walks off. Him walking off definitely reminds me of the end of Godzilla 2014. And yet again, they're definitely building up this episode for something to happen in the finale. And by the end, our main characters are off on their own yet again. But although we got to see plenty of Godzilla in this episode, and I really like the story they're going for here, and just the tone and the vibe it's giving off, there is a couple little tiny things that just kind of threw me off. And the main thing is actually how the episode ended. Not because of Godzilla, because of the human characters. So basically, after Godzilla walks away, old guy Shaw and his assistant, which is that monarch girl who's apparently good now, they said that they want to help Godzilla. And Kate and the other kid characters are like, what? No, we're not going with you. We don't want to help Godzilla. We're out of here. And one of my main problems with that is, is that why didn't Shaw explain himself? He was just like, come with me and I'll explain everything. Well, you should know that they're not going to want to go with you if you say, oh, we're going to help Godzilla after the Godzilla 2014 attack. Maybe you should say, Godzilla's doing something and we need to help him, and if we don't help him, millions of people are going to die. But he doesn't even bother explaining himself, so they go off on their own for some reason. I've noticed that a lot. The kid characters really do love just going off on their own. But even after that, right when they're going to the town and right before the episode's about to end, 
May all of a sudden wants to tell Kate and Kentaro that she's been setting them up this whole entire time. And Kate's like, ugh, get out of here. And she just starts walking off. And then they just keep walking off like nothing happened. I don't know. It was a kind of a weird way to end off the episode with her just randomly kind of explaining that. And then Kate's like, eh, I don't like you anymore. And they all just keep walking in the same direction towards the town. It just kind of felt random. I'm sure in the seventh episode they'll maybe explain it a little bit more, but just from watching it there, it just kind of felt out of nowhere, and it kind of felt like the episode it needed to end off in a bad note, so we would want to watch the next episode. Whew. But anyway, I guess that's going to be it for today's little review. I really enjoyed this episode. That's all I want you guys to know. Godzilla is pretty amazing looking in this episode, so yeah, pretty awesome, I will say. I know in the video I didn't give it a score, but I give it a 9 out of 10. We only have four more episodes left, so I really hope they start explaining a lot of stuff and they don't leave us off on a cliffhanger. But anyways, tell me what you guys thought of this episode. Did you enjoy it or did you absolutely hate it? But anyways, let me know in the comments and have a great day, guys.